reasons we came to see you was really what you're doing as a as an as an uh, uh, not a student I should say more than the athletic side mm -hmm. of things. Obviously, being a three-star athlete uh, mm -hmm. certainly helps, but student-wise, it's not just being the chemistry major, mm -hmm. and the biology, and the <laughs> and the psychology. It, it there's more than that. You, for a long time, have had this medical side of you in your blood, and it really dates back to when you were 15, mm -hmm. and you decided to go on a trip to Haiti. Yes. This is before the big earthquake that yes, everybody certainly this knows about. the year before the earthquake. What, what was the drive to do that? Tell us a little bit of the story behind that. Well, I moved to Maryland. My father was in the military, and so I moved to Maryland for my high school years, um, when I was a freshman in high school. and. In high school in Maryland, they have what are called student service learning hours. So you have to commit 75 hours to community service. And here, most people get a lot of them done in middle school because it runs through both uh, middle school and high school. But since I missed middle school, I had to get 75 hours in high school. And I'm thinking, great, like it was more of a burden to me than an opportunity. And that that's a mindset that's really important, burden versus opportunity mm -hmm. and how you look at things. Well. I was coming with any way I could get these done. So I, um, I was a soccer player in high school as well. Um, I collected our soccer team's old uniforms and I brought them to our church for a, um, a uniform drive that they were doing for Haiti. And then they sent them away. I marked off a couple of hours and I thought that was gonna be the end of it. Well, like six months later, a priest came back from Haiti and the ha Haitian soccer team in the town of Dessalines had blazers uniforms on and they were the ones I'd sent. And so you do this community service and sometimes you miss the purpose or you don't think it makes an impact. And so seeing that, I was like, it kind of sparked my curiosity. Mm -hmm. And so I knew when I saw the ad that they were accepting teens to go to Haiti that I was, it was something I wanted to try. Um, unfortunately, I was actually below the age group. I missed it by like two months, so I had to beg the church administration. I wasn't 16 yet. I was only 15. Right. So, um, I had to bat my eyelashes a little bit, and um, but they they let me go, and so that's kind of what sparked my interest and got me going. And that one trip has basically snowballed into yeah. really what seems to be at, at a young age your life's calling. It, exactly. Yeah, I actually couldn't put that better myself. It definitely ever since then, all of my thoughts have been centered around becoming a doctor, becoming a great physician. Um, even athletics, you know, I'm on the field, how can what I'm learning here be applied in an office someday to provide better health care to patients here but also in Haiti?